Hello, CYT family and friends. Today I'm going to walk you through how to go to my website and browse and purchase any pictures that you'd like from any of the shows that are listed. If you go to the link that you were provided, the CYT underscore MP underscore 2018, uh, that's this link right here, um, you're going to come to this page and you'll see three galleries from for instance, the Mary Poppins show, Thursday show, Friday show, and Sunday show. But one thing I want to cover first is logging in. You don't have to create a login, but it is important to do so if you plan on saving favorites or saving your shopping cart to look at at a future date. If you do not create an account and are not logged in during your browsing and your saving of the favorites, etc., then the next time you open your browser and go to this link to look at pictures and buy pictures, you will not see any of the previous saves that you've made. You will not have a favorites folder that has been saved. You will not have a shopping cart that may have been full that you wanted to save for purchase on a later date. Those are gone because the system did not have you logged in and was not keeping record of your visit to the site. So if you haven't already, I highly suggest you create an account. You do that here on the right side of the page. Ex accept the terms and then register. And then once you register, you're logged in automatically. If you already do have an account, before you do any browsing and saving of favorites or purchasing, go ahead and log in. Uh, again, you don't have to create a login, but if you don't do so, then anything that you try to do, saving favorites, saving shopping carts, will not be saved for you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm now logged in and I'm back at the page I was. Um, just in case you are not there, you can go to gallery and you'll see CYT in my main gallery. You can click that once. And any of the shows that I have captured will show up here. Right now I only have Mary Poppins captured. Click on that. And then we'll go to Thursday, there's Friday, and then there's Sunday. So if you want pictures from Thursday, go here Friday here and Sunday here so let's just go to Friday for instance now within each of these um, day galleries there are two sets of galleries one is the third the shots the other is the stage wide shots um, the shots are shots taken by me uh, walking around with my camera uh, close-ups you know wide angle so on and so forth and the stage wide shots are pictures taken from a camera that was set up on a tripod in the balcony um, taking one perspective and taking a shot every five seconds so you know if you wanted a stage wide shot of everything going on, on stage this is a great place to get that shot um, you know depending on the time or the act or the scene you know there's some great pictures to be had for instance this picture right here that's a great one um, you know it's got some stage action so if you wanted to get that you could get that okay so now let's go back and one other thing if you ever did uh, want to go back instead of having to go back to the very beginning gallery CYT so on and so forth you can follow these breadcrumbs here so right now we're in Thursday stage wide shots the gallery immediately previous to this is the Thursday show. So we're going to click that and we go back to these. So let's go to Thursday shots. Now, my preferred way of either selecting favorites um, and or making purchases of multiple pictures is, well, let me cover this first. If you want to just buy one picture, you found one picture that you want to buy, and you notice that as I'm hovering over each of these thumbnails, uh, there's information. There's the file name. You can share it on any of these particular uh, social networks. Or you can buy this one picture. So I'm just going to click buy on this one picture. Okay. It's going to take me to that and it's going to confirm is this the picture that I want? Yes. So I'm going to click plus 
over here so I can add it to cart. It's a digital file download. Okay, it's taking it's time to do that. Okay, so now we have, as you can see, is this digital file has been added to the cart, and we have one item in the cart. So we're going to continue shopping those. So I'm going to show you some other ways to do this. Now, let's say you want to uh, select multiple pictures, um, just for favorites, for instance. You'll want to go over here to this button that says Select Photos. Once you do so, you'll see these little circles pop up at the bottom of each of the thumbnails. These are where you make your selections. So let's say I like this picture. I can just click that picture. It'll put a check mark right there in that circle. So, <clears throat> so I know that's been selected. If you want to deselect a picture, all you have to do is click that circle again and it deselects it. You can also just probably do it right here. Yep. You can cl click the thumbnail to select it. And if you want to deselect it, you can do so also. So I've got that selected. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select this one, and this one, and this one. You can do that to as many pictures as you want. So I have all those selected, right? So now I want to add to favorites. So I'm going to add those, however many it was. It'll tell me. Okay, I've selected six, and they're now in my favorites. Okay? And at any time, if you want to go and look at your favorites, just hover on this drop-down and click on My Selection. There are the pictures I selected. So, these are your favorites, and again, if you are logged in as a user, this favorites uh, folder will be saved, and all the contents within it will be saved. So the next time, you know, you close your browser, and the next time you open a browser to come back to your account, once you do, once you're logged in, all these favorites are still here. So, uh, while I'm here, I'm going to show you how to purchase from your favorites folder. So I want to, you know, I've got all these, and I don't want uh, this one. So on this one, I'm going to drop down and I'm going to remove that. But I do want these five pictures and I'm going to purchase these five pictures. So now I can go to buy and buy all. Oh, here we go. Okay. So uh, now it's got my five pictures that I selected. Um, you know, you can go through and just make sure one last time. And if these are the ones you want, just hit the plus. I already have one in my cart. Okay. And it's doing its crunching in the background. Okay. Five items. The five items that I'd selected from my favorites folder to purchase have been added to the cart. Now I have a total of six items. Okay. So that's the way to purchase from your favorites. And if you want to do the same thing. You don't have to send them to favorites. I'm going to select photos, select this one, select this one, select this one, and I'm going to buy those three. So I can just click buy. There's the three right there. I'm going to add those. I had six before. Okay, now I have nine. Those three were added. So let's say I've made all the purchases that I wanted to. Oh, there's one more way to do it. And that is cancel that. If at any time you want to cancel the selection process, I'm in select photos now and you'll know that because you have the little circle here. If you want to get out of the select photos, just click cancel. That takes you out. And let's go back here. Let's go into Thursday, wide angle. Okay, so the other way to do so is if you want to have a bigger view of the pictures while you're looking at them to decide if you want to purchase, you can just click on a thumbnail and it takes you to this larger view, right? So you can navigate left or right in the list. Here's your film strip down here of all the pictures. Let's go that way. Okay, I want this picture. I can click plus. It'll do its thing and you can just move on while it's doing its thing. See, it did take account that one that I purchased. And let's see, I want this one. Okay, I can do that there. Hit that. Should be 11 items. Now we have 11 items in the cart. So now we're going to go to cart.
The cart shows you all the items you selected for purchase. If you change your mind about one of them, you can hit the X to the right of each line item, and that'll remove it from the cart. It'll remove that one. Or if you want to empty your cart completely, just scroll to the bottom, and you'll see clear shopping cart down here. Um, shows you all your items. Gives you the number of items that you selected and the total price. So I am going to proceed to checkout. So if you're logged in, it's already going to um, pull in some information from your login account once you set it up. Uh, again, phone number is optional, company is optional. Uh, if you are not logged in, you're not going to come to this screen. The first screen you'll come to after you continue to check out is a screen that will ask you to sign up for an account, log into an account, or it will give you the option to check out as guest. So you do not have to have an account um, to make a purchase. You can check out as guest, but again, if you want to save favorites, etc., uh, for future review, you have to do so by creating an account and logging into account while you're browsing. Okay, so I'm going to continue checkout. And this is where you put in your information for your, your payment, card number, billing address, uh, name on card, etc. You can or cannot, it's up to you. Uh, you may or may not. Save the credit card information for future purposes. Or you can pay through PayPal. Uh, whichever way you're more comfortable. This is a secure payment site, uh, so is PayPal. Um, I'm not going to fill out this information because I'm not actually making a purchase, but from this point forward, this is pretty standard uh, online purchase process. Uh, so I hope you uh, found a lot of pictures that you like. There were a lot of pictures that I took. I had to whittle it down from about 9,000 pictures for the Mary Poppins show down to close to 3,000 pictures in the end. Um, and if you do have any questions, uh, you can send me a, a help request through the website. There will be a help uh, section that you can go to. Or you can email me at barang at cbgbpicks.com and I'll put that up here on the screen for you so you have it. is the email address right here so uh, I hope you have an easy time navigating and hope you found what you liked thank you so much